Hey guys, welcome to our Fit Family. I have a 21 day fix and 21 day fix extreme tip for you today. If you haven't already, I want you to find in your eating plan the page about seasoning mixes. Uh, on the 21 day fix plan, that is on page 42. And on the 21 day fix extreme, it's on page 30. Okay, the seasoning mixes are a great tool for you to number one, be able to spice up your food without adding any extra unnecessary salt or preservatives that come often in bottled seasonings. Um, and two, to be able to continue to make your food taste interesting so that you stay interested in eating it throughout the full 21 days. Um, sometimes I hear from my challengers that, you know, I'm bored with my food options on this plan or I, you know, I like things more seasoned or spicier, et cetera, and I don't quite know how to do that now that I'm cooking all the foods whole myself, okay? So these are great seasoning mixes to start with, especially if you've never used or tried to prepare your own seasonings, like I haven't. I was always a no seasoning or something that came out of a bottle, but it did always bother me that the primary ingredient in a lot of those pre-mixed seasoning mixes is salt. And salt, as you may know, will cause your body to bloat and retain water, which you don't want when you're trying to see results and see yourself lean out and thin out on this program. So I encourage you to make the seasoning mixes. I will tell, I'll show you what I did and you can follow along or you can just go to your book and make them yourself, okay? So first one, all purpose seasoning mix. This is a great seasoning to put on any sort of poultry, really any sort of fish, any sort of meat or vegetable at all, right? All purpose. But basically what is included in it is garlic powder, not garlic salt, same thing, onion powder, not onion salt. Uh, you get some ground mustard in there, it gives it a little tang. You have thyme, right, which is kind of a gentle flavor. And then you have black pepper, and sea salt, right? These are our grinders for salt and pepper since we don't use them very much. Okay, you basically follow the recipe as far as the number of tablespoons required for that seasoning. I used this little tiny Tupperware. I put everything in there, I put the lid on, I shook it up, and voila, I had seasoning for my meal prep this past Sunday. I put this seasoning on the whole chicken that I roasted. I just uh, rubbed a little bit of olive oil over the, the outside of the chicken, and then I took you know, my fingers and I just sprinkled it all over it and patted it in, um, baked the chicken for however long until it was you know, kind of crusty on the outside. And let me just tell you, I just had that chicken for lunch and it was amazing. It tasted like it had been seasoning. It wasn't seasoned. It wasn't just like plain, boring chicken breast, right? Um, but there again, it didn't add any unnecessary salt to my diet. The recipe in here calls for a very minimal amount of salt in here instead of like many, like I said, when you buy the bottled seasoning, it is the primary ingredient, okay? So that's all purpose. My favorite seasoning so far is this Smoky Southwest seasoning, okay? It has a little bit of a chili, chili flavor to it. Um, it starts out with chili powder, which probably explains the chili flavor. <laughs> um, you have ground cumin, which if you, if you don't use cumin yet to season your food, I highly recommend you get some. It's great, it's like a very versatile seasoning. You can just sprinkle it on vegetables, you can just sprinkle it on meat, and it really gives it a distinct flavor um, if you're into that, okay? Um, coriander, I don't have my coriander. Okay. The recipe calls for coriander, which if I'm being totally honest, I made this seasoning yesterday without the coriander included because I didn't have any and it still tastes great. So keep that in mind as well. If you don't have one of the um, specialty spices that are included in this recipe, mix it up anyway and see how it tastes. Um, it may just be, it may be just fine for you without every single one of the spices, but I'm not even sure what coriander tastes like, but I'm going to use it in the mix the next time I make it. Okie dokie. We've got more onion powder and garlic powder in this seasoning. You also get dried oregano. 
Um, it gives it a little more body. Um, and then you ca it calls for smoked paprika. So there again, I didn't have any smoked paprika yesterday when I made these seasonings. So I went out and bought some, but I did have this stuff called the hot Hungarian paprika in my cabinet, which um, if I'm being totally honest, it doesn't taste hot to me, but whatever. Um, it worked, right? I used that in the mix. I put this seasoning there again. You're going to see it looks kind of red. I put this seasoning in a Tupperware, mix it all up, shake it up. And I use this as a topping for a roasted head of cauliflower. So basically just brushed about a teaspoon of coconut oil on the outside of the cauliflower, placed it on a pan, and then again, drizzled, sprinkled this seasoning all over the top of it and uh, baked the cauliflower for however long until it was tender. And I just had that with my lunch too. And it was amazing. It had a lot of flavor. It didn't, again, just taste like eating plain, boring cauliflower. Okay. The last seasoning that you have in your book here is called the Mediterranean seasoning. This to me, I'm not really sure why they call it Mediterranean. To me, it seems exactly like an Italian seasoning blend. So if you want to shortcut it, you can always just take, um, you know, the three main Italian herbs, um, parsley, basil, and oregano, mix them together and throw it on whatever you're preparing. But to follow this recipe, you use a lot of parsley flakes, like a, quite a bit. Um, you have dried onion, again, you have basil, which I didn't get out either. You have dried basil, you have dried oregano, you have <laughs> the thyme again, and then I think I already said this garlic powder, and then your salt and pepper to taste. Okay, this one, because those parsley flakes are pretty big, it required a bigger container. It's kind of a fluffy seasoning. Again, like I think of this as something that I might put on chicken or I might toss inside some pasta or some um, like spaghetti squash. It kind of reminds me of, of a, an Italian seasoning, even though they call it Mediterranean. But I guess Italy's in the Mediterranean. Okay, whatever. So those are the spices. If you see a running theme here, it is that salt and pepper are like the last ingredients on the list. You're really using whole herbs, which is great. So I highly, highly recommend you go through and look at these seasonings, make them up, you know, put them in these little tubs and just stick them in your cabinet, right? Um, that way they're there and you're more likely to use them than if you just made up enough for one dish and that's it. So make them up, put them in your cabinet. I bet you will get as addicted to them as I am. And uh, you will be on your way to eating less salt, having less bloat, and really seeing the results of this program. Hope that helped, guys. If you have any more questions or would like more tips, please email me at fitnesswithbecky at gmail.com. Have a great day.